Is there opportunity in this late stage of Brexit? I think no. <laughs> the trouble is actually the digital outcomes are making, making those investment choices really hard. We've gone longer duration, we'd be buying more gilts because of the risk here of this recession that everybody's now talking about a lot more. And, and actually, we've reduced our credit risk a little bit as well, because I think credit markets, the evidence for the last couple of weeks suggests there's some stress coming in there as well. OK, so talk me through how you're um, trading around Europe more broadly as well, because I know there's a broad view sort of coming out there in the markets now that clouds are forming around Europe, uh, concerns, of course, around the end of QE and some stress in the Italian banks. Uh, which is, of course, a big risk for credit markets as well. So what are you doing around that? Anything we should know? Uh, Italy's been a really easy choice for me. I've got a simple rule, just don't buy Italy, um, which, which makes the other choices a little easier. Actually, for UK investor at the moment, European credit's looking quite attractive. For a lot of investors around the world, actually, European credit's pretty attractive place Why? to be. It's widened out quite a lot over the last two, three weeks with the way the currency moves have been as well. By the time you hedge all those risks out, you end up getting a little bit more in Europe than you, than you would do in many other places around the world. Recession risk, I think, is fairly distant in Europe. Slowdown risk, though, is growing. And you have to be really careful about where you're investing. So we're avoiding autos, for example, a really difficult place to be. But the banks in Europe, actually, outside of Italy, particularly in places like Spain, are very attractive at the moment. Do you see anything in 2019 that could change your outlook for Europe or the UK more broadly? What would turn positive? Well, if Jay Powell last night, uh, the reaction to that I think has been pretty interesting as well, hasn't it? That if we get a stop-start Fed and maybe only one or two rate rises from them, that I think could turn risk markets positive in, in, in the whole of Europe and the US. UK, we need to get through Brexit. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.